The InShot video editor allows you to add multiple clips to the same project. I can show you how. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here and you're looking for technology tips, tricks, and tutorials, you've come to the right place. If you find this video helpful, subscribe. This is the third video in my InShot series. I hope you've enjoyed this series so far. If you'd like to see the other videos to get caught up, keep an eye out for the YouTube card on screen later in the video. Or you can check out the recommended playlist in the video description below. Let's get started. You can add multiple photos or video clips to any project. I'm going to focus on video clips. Tap the video icon. This is the video selection screen. To select multiple video clips, tap the check mark in the bottom right hand corner. At the top of the screen, you will see this yellow bar. Now you can select multiple clips to add to the project. Just tap the clips that you want to add. When you've selected your clips, tap the green check mark in the bottom right hand corner. Those clips have now been added to the project. Each of these clips are a minute long, so I'm going to manually scrub through the footage so you can see them. Here's the first clip. The second clip. And finally, the third clip. If you want to add another clip from inside this project, you can. Just tap the plus sign in the left hand corner. This will give you the video selection window. Select the clip that you want to add by tapping on it. And it will be added to the project. That's the last clip. I'm going to scrub through the footage to go back to the beginning of the video. Did you notice those little white circles in between the clips? Those are for transitions. Transitions are the effects that you can place between video clips. To add a transition, just tap on one of the white circles and choose a transition. I'll do a separate video about those later. You can add multiple videos and photos to any project. To save the completed video, tap the share icon and tap save. Processing will begin. Don't close the app lock the screen or let the screen turn off while this is happening. If you do, the video may not save properly. Depending on the length of your video, this may take some time. I've sped up the process. In the next video, I'll discuss transitions and how to place them between two video clips. When the file renders, it will be saved to your video library. You are free to add it to any project 
I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. If you have a problem with any part of this process, leave a comment below so I can help you. Don't forget to click that thumbs up if you liked the video. Please feel free to check out some of my other videos suggested on screen. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.